Hey YouTube, Advent Rooster here, and today I'm going to go over my DVD collection. Now this will probably be two or three different uploads. Um, it's not the most impressive collection, but I did work at Blockbuster for about five years, and I did collect a lot of peculiar, strange titles, um, some mainstream ones. So this is uh, what we're looking at today. This is probably uh, maybe 50 movies or so, um, and I have two or three more stacks like this. So, like I said, not a lot quantity-wise. And actually, um... I don't have any place to put my games, so I was just going to show some games real quick while I'm getting them out of the way. Dark Spore, you've seen me play that on the PC. Uh, we just got this in the uh, the promotional copy, actually, from Rockstar of L.A. Noir, so that's kind of cool to have. I just picked up Red Dead Redemption. I actually only paid 26 bucks for it, but... Shadowrun, this is really underrated, and uh, Greyhood and I talked about this. This game has so many great ideas in the FPS genre. If they were to name it something else besides Shadowrun, um, a lot of hardcore cult followers of Shadowrun expected something closer to Shadowrun besides just the races and stuff. So if they would have named it something else, um, it would have probably su succeeded more. So great game though. <coughs> um, Amnesia picked this up for about twenty bucks. Uh, it's a pretty cool game, but my graphics card it can run it really well, but it has some kind of incompatibility issue. It it uh, freezes up, so it just might be something with the actual copy of the game. Um, because I can run like Oblivion and Crisis and Far Cry, so it's nothing to do with my computer. Rift, this is the uh, the reason why I rebuilt my computer. Probably won't be playing this. Um, I'm just not really into MMOs. Fallout New Vegas, I might do some Let's Plays on that. Portal 2, um, Portal 2 I actually got for about 20 bucks. Um, I don't want to go into that story, but I haven't played that. I'd like to get into it. Uh, of course, Modern Warfare 2. Um, and you guys have seen me do Oblivion. So that's just a few of my games. Most of my games are actually on Steam, so I'll have to show those. Some shoes there. Those are my shoes, too. I like to wear those on Saturdays. <coughs> um, all right, so... For, and that really goes with the first movie I'm about to show you. Uh, Ghost. Uh, this is just something. It's it's a classic. I like all kinds of movies. Ghost is one of them, not ashamed to say. Um, it's just a pretty cool movie. It's one of those, you know, Patrick Swayze's kind of a badass in it. Um, you know, they make clay pots. Now this next movie, Faces of Death, this is something, actually I should probably leave these in there. Uh, Faces of Death 4, I heard this series is pretty gruesome, and I checked everywhere. I had to find this at a used uh, video store, and it was like 25 bucks, and it sucks really bad. Um, probably 99% of the stuff on there is fake, and it was just retarded. So, um, let's see here. Exorcism of Emily Rose. This movie is a great movie. Now, <clears throat> it, it's kind of touchy on some religious aspects, and you know I'm not the biggest Christian in the world, but it uh, it, it hits a lot of cool points, and uh, I just thought this movie was really scary. Um, Jennifer Carpenter is uh, Emily Rose in it, and she does awesome. Plus, she's in Dexter, and I'm a huge Dexter fan. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. Um, this is something my friend uh, Bandit gave to me and I actually never watched it so sorry I'll probably do that uh, if you want to <laughs> borrow this bandit then uh, let me know and I'll give that back Sling Blade just a really good movie I'm a big drama fan and uh, this is an amazing drama it's really slow moving but it's a really compelling character uh, if you haven't seen Sling Blade then you should Tom Hanks Big classic um, just a great movie like to have that. Wedding Crashers. Um, watched it in the theater, then I wanted to pick it up, and I think I watched it again when I have it, had it on DVD, and I never watched it again. It's one of those things that I can't really watch it like month to month. Now, this next one is probably my favorite comedy of all time, and that's Grandma's Boy. And this is something I've seen probably hundreds of times. I mean, I just, I'm not a pothead or anything, but I just think it's hilarious. Um, course you know I'm a video game junkie so just every time I watch Grandma's Boy it's one of those things that I find something you know a poster in the background that makes me giggle or something it's, it's just great um, concert DVDs Chevelle uh, these DVDs are in no order but uh, Chevelle I love Chevelle they're not the best band in the concert but they are a, a great three-piece band and this is a very old DVD I think this is probably like 2003 or so maybe later than that um, yeah May 2003 weird how I remember that stuff um, <laughs> this next one I actually found when I was in Blockbuster. We'll do like these 
um, rental to retail conversions, and I always watched this when I was a kid and picked this up, and it's I still think it's pretty funny. So that's the entire first season. I think I got for like twelve bucks or something. These just all fell. Have to stack them up. All right. Um, SNL best of Chris Kattan. I wanted to collect all of these at one point in time, and I just never got around to finishing it because you can find most clips on YouTube and stuff. Um, but this one was okay. It's he's all right. I don't know. I'm kind of outgrew him. One of the best movies ever created. Uh, probably top ten for me. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Jack Nicholson. Um, awesome book. Uh, one of the few books or movies that holds its own to the book, so it's it's a lot of the same stuff in there. Um, Robot Chicken Star Wars. It's pretty cool, but I've actually tried to give this away. I'm just not a fan of this one. I, I don't I don't know why. Um, I don't know. I, I like Robot Chicken, but the Star Wars Star Wars one didn't really do it for me. And I like Star Wars too. So this next one actually I had in my closet forever, and I just forgot I had it. So I love Dream Theater, obviously. Um, actually, I, I like pretty much, let's see, Megadeth's pretty cool, Dream Theater's my favorite, uh, Fear Factory I like a lot, Nevermore is kind of weird, but they're alright, Symphony X is really awesome, I don't remember Life of Agony, or uh, Dry Kill Logic, or Bobo Flex, I think those are just like, maybe opening acts, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a really cool DVD, um, I should actually probably watch it so I can see how some of those no-name bands are, um, this one's even worse than Chris Kattan, now Jimmy Fallon is, I think he's kind of, um, he, get, he catches a lot of crap from a lot of critics because, you know, he was known as, quote-unquote, the pretty boy of SNL, so all the ladies like him, and that just automatically attracts hate to him um, from the guys. But he's he's pretty good impersonator, actually. Um, on his audition tapes, it's ac actually worth watching. Probably the only thing worth the crap on this DVD um, is his audition tapes. Other than that, it's kind of a forgetful thing. Now, you know, you guys might think this is really strange, but... <laughs> Yanni Live. I'm a big Yanni fan. Um, what can I say? I think he has some cool music. And uh, if you don't know what Yanni is, he's basically a, uh, a synthesizer composer. And he'll get like a bunch, bunch of different ethnic groups together, you know, um, from all all over the world to do these songs together. And he makes some really beautiful music. So uh, I'm a music lover. And that just shows you some of my diversity. Wolf Creek. Um, this is a great horror flick. Um, it's an Australia movie. You guys need to watch it if you haven't watched it already. Um, it's just a, it's a pretty gruesome movie, and it's a kind of has a, a kind of a weird twist in there to where you know the uh, the the main characters, one of them being a girl, is not the cliche, um, you know, stupid girl that trips over her sandals and gets murdered. So it's kind of cool. Um, Red Eye, a really short movie, but it's a pretty good thriller. Um, Rachel McAdams, she's hot. Killian Murphy's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I just really like this movie a lot. Picked it up. I think I paid like three ninety nine for it. Um, Speak. This is uh, this has a bunch of act Kristen Stewart's in here. I don't know who Eric Lively is. Elizabeth Perkins from Weeds. DB Sweeney. He's been around forever. And Steve Zahn. Um, it's about a rape. It's one of those. I like the independent uh, Sundance movies, so I picked this one up for three bucks. It's all right. It's kind of. Uh, I'm not a big Kristen Stewart fan. She's like a robot to me, but it's alright. It's worth, like, they should show it in school or something because it's, like, about rape and all kinds of shit. Uh, Die Hard. Um, <laughs> this is, like, the most strange Die Hard case I've ever seen. And it actually came out of the action section, too, back in the day. Now, I haven't worked at Blockbuster for three years, but um, obviously got it for fourteen ninety nine. Can't go without at least one Die Hard. Uh, me, Myself, and Irene. Great movie. Not a lot to say about that one. Uh, derailed once again me with the drama movies um this is a really good movie and it's really twisted if you haven't seen it uh pick it up uh, clive owen jennifer aniston exhibit uh most deaf it's it's a pretty cool movie oh crap me and this stack um allison chains unplugged what can i say i like the 90s music i like 80s music uh about a couple of years ago, I started having a newfound respect for grunge rock, and uh, this Unplugged is probably one of the most well-executed execu Unplugged's I've ever seen, and it's just a, it's a great set list, um, a great sound. Alice in Chains really knocked it out. I think that was their first show they had played, you know, since they took a break for a while, so that's pretty cool to have. Um, not rare or anything. Silent Hill, <clears throat> I like video games, I like movies, it felt natural. I actually like this movie, and I like watching the um, the special features showing how they do the makeup and stuff, because it kind of 
it made watching the movie again really cool. Now, they did change the main actor from a man to a woman, so it really didn't follow the uh, <laughs> the game that well, so... Eh, but, you know, Pyramid Head, pulling the skin off a lady was pretty cool. Um, probably my favorite Jim Carrey movie is The Cable Guy. It's such a dark comedy. Um, it's the only thing Matthew Broderick is good in. I really don't like that guy, um, but <laughs> they're just a pretty cool team in that movie. It's pretty funny. Um, Bowling for Columbine. I don't like Michael Moore, but I thought I'd give him a shot, and I still haven't watched this. Um, I think I watched a little bit of it on Netflix. Um, once again, one of those $3 movies or something, so I'll have to get around to that and see if he's actually good at what he says he's good at. Uh, Thinner. I like Stephen King. Um, this is a really weird movie about a guy that's really fat, and uh, he gets cursed by this gypsy girl. Um, a pretty hot gypsy girl, and like, she she says thinner, and he starts getting thinner, and as you can see, he gets pretty pretty gross, um, and it's it's cool revenge and stuff like that. Um, District Nine, amazing movie. Um, if you have not seen this movie, pick it up. I'm sure everybody has. This is just a awesome movie. I think it was actually a lower budget movie too, and uh, it's pretty cool. I was reading recently. This guy said he wouldn't mind. Um, going back to this universe again to kind of revisit it and follow it up. <laughs> um, Disney and Pixar, baby. Can't go wrong. Wally, Awesome movie. Um, you know, and it's, and it's pays homage to a lot of short circuit, um, you know, batteries not included. A lot of that, a lot of my childhood is brought back to life in Wally, -E, And it's just a well done, amazing movie. I've seen it probably like 10 times. I like Wally. -E. Uh, Pathfinder, I got this for three ninety nine. I it's going back. I remember how much I paid for all of these when I was working at Blockbuster. I'd pick them up out of the bargain bin. Um, but Pathfinder was a decent movie. It's Carl Urban is the uh, the Viking dude there with the like twenty pack. Um, he's the same guy from Doom and like maybe two other movies. But it's it's kind of a crappy movie. But there's like heads getting chopped off and stuff. So I picked it up and thought I'd give it another chance. It's it's. It's not that great. Uh, Quantum of Solace, I think Daniel Craig knocks it out um, with his James Bond get up. But Quantum of Solace was uh, it's kind of a different James Bond. It, it was more, felt more realistic, I guess, to say. Like, there's more realistic stunts, stuff like that. That's why I like Daniel Craig as James Bond. Um, he's not really one for gadgets. He's just, like, really suave and, and uh, you know, he gets shit done. Uh, this next one, I actually don't know where this came from. Now, um... Spun. I've never seen it, and I know I didn't buy it, but I know it came. That's a blockbuster sticker. I don't know where this came from. Um, Brittany Murphy. Um, I have to watch it. I don't know. It just looks a little goofy to me. Um, Larry Clark. I, I love this director. Um, What's up, rockers? This is a really bizarre, um, <laughs> realistic kind of movie about these Mexican skaters. Um, it's a bizarre movie. It's really slow, and the pacing is really weird, but it's basically about how, you know, Mexican skaters get in trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. I have to watch that again someday when I'm kind of bored. It's not a bad movie. It's just really strange. Um, my friend actually picked this up, and this DVD is probably like, I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks, and this is John Petrucci, Rock Discipline. I used to have the VHS of this, and I had to give it back to my buddy that I was um, borrowing it from. This is the most helpful DVD for playing guitar. I know it looks silly. Um, John Petrucci is the guitarist from Dream Theater. But this is the most helpful DVD. It's about two hours long, maybe. Um, if you're learning how to play the guitar or you don't know anything about music theory, um, watch this. Um, I suggest you go out and buy it. It's well worth it. It's probably the only tool you need to help you develop those skills. He goes over stretches. Um, there are certain things you have to do before you play the guitar. Um, at that rate that you have to uh, kind of perform with your hands, you know, stretches and all kinds of stuff so you don't injure yourself. So that's also important. And, and he goes over, you know, all kinds of music theory. And I guess this is a game I skipped. It was DC Universe. Um, so that game was, like, cool for, like, two weeks, and then it got really old. Um, but, yeah, there's, a, there's part one of my DVD collection. Like I said, a lot of really weird movies. Um, I'll have to go and... Find, uh, dig out the rest of them for part two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, leave some comments if you guys have uh, seen any of those. I know there's a lot of strange ones in there, but uh, we'll see you for part two. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and uh, subscribe. We'll see you soon.